Calf Scramble was started in 1942 and uh, was really started to give young people the opportunity to, to raise a calf and bring it back to the show and show it. And over the years it's grown to where this year we will award over 400 calves uh, to successful scramblers and those who place the highest in the livestock and the dairy judging contests. There is entertainment involved uh, for the audience watching and the kids truly love to go out and scramble and if you've ever watched a scramble it's kind of a microcosm of life. It's, it's elation followed by disappointment followed by possible elation once again uh, as they're out scrambling around catching calves. Uh, but the great thing about it is it's so educational as well. Uh, these young people many of whom wouldn't have the opportunity to raise an animal, have that opportunity. And myself, being a, a product of junior livestock shows and the junior livestock uh, program, I understand the value of raising that animal. Uh, these young people, it's a commitment. Uh, they have to get up in the morning before school and feed and care for that animal. They're home at night after school, feeding and caring for that animal. They're working with it, training it how to show. They're grooming it. And uh, as any parent will attest to, there's no greater responsibility than caring for another living being. And that's the experience these young people are getting at a very young age. They're developing work ethic. Uh, they understand the, the value of commitment, that effort produces results. And those are things that will serve them well personally and professionally. Uh, what employer doesn't like work ethic and commitment in an employee? And those are the types of lessons that these young people are learning. If you look at it over time, 1942, when they used to scramble in Sam Houston Coliseum, which was uh, one of our original homes where the Hobby Center now stands, uh, if you look at Life Magazine, had a, uh, an article about the calf scramble on their cover, and all of the young people would uh, take their shoes off and roll their jeans up and run around barefoot. And in those days, you got to keep the calf you caught. And so there are a number of stories that I've heard about calves riding home across Texas in the back seat of a sedan. Uh, now, of course, we've gone to the certificate where they take their $1,750 certificate and they go to a breeder and they purchase either a steer or a heifer of their choosing. Uh, but over time, it, it's evolved to where we now have 30 young people every night scrambling for 15 calves, so that 50-50 odds. And we also award some hard luck awards. And so some of those young people who have real hard luck while they're out there on the floor of the, the arena, they will receive a certificate as well. It's very special to me because uh, I can tell you as a product of junior livestock programs that outside of my home environment nothing has been more impactful on my personal and professional development than raising and showing livestock growing up and to provide that opportunity to other young people who might not otherwise have the opportunity is particularly meaningful to me. The 2016 Calf Scramble now through March 20th at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo.